the, the background on Tyler's injury was it did it happen last game in, in Orlando? Yeah, and just good bump knees. But, um, and we'll treat him day to day. Eric, obviously you got a, a lot of G, G League guys, younger guys. That's basically your entire bench today. But you always talk about you're in our system. You played in Sioux Falls. You know what we are. Do those guys, is there a comfort zone, even if you haven't been directly with them all season, just, you know, Jamal and Boogie are coming in, that you can just, you know, on a, on a switch like this, just, okay, you're our second unit tonight? I would say uh, probably us more than anyone um, because we, we develop them. Uh, we... Um, have the same philosophy. Uh, everything uh, in Sioux Falls, uh, you know, we do, in constant communication, you know, while the guys are there. Uh, and probably the most important thing is whenever the guys have gotten their opportunities with us, they've actually contributed to wins. Um, Bouye is the only one that really hasn't had those extended opportunities, but um, he also earned this 10-day for a reason because he, he played well um, in his time in Sioux Falls and, and helped contribute uh, in a meaningful way to wins. Coach at Orlando, um, Tyler played his career high in minutes. Uh, eight minutes left in the game. He got his fifth foul. What goes into your decision making to keep him in there? And he he only, I guess, was out for the next ten seconds. I think it was at the end of the game for for yeah. defensive purposes. Yeah. Do you t did you talk to him at all? And you know, obviously, I know you had, you had no choice. I'm assuming, but yeah, but uh, you know, those are those are gambles. I mean, now you just you, you also have to be a little bit lucky. I asked him. Well, I didn't ask him. I said, "Don't get another foul." But you know, he's. <laughs> yeah, you never know how you know guys respond. You know, to that. I also didn't want him just to be out there. You know, dodging everybody. Um, so he had some really good, you know, fourth quarter minutes, and I was just taking the gamble. I played him as long as he could until he got that sixth foul, and if it if he got that, then I would have been been forced to make another decision. It wasn't quite the 40-yard dash in Milwaukee. It was probably about a 10-yard dash. But how awkward does that remain for you that you have to run out on the court to try to get a timeout and get the officials' attention? It just Yeah, you know, looking at the clock, too, there was 2.5 seconds mm -hmm. when I called timeout. And, and that one's different than the previous ones. And, and look, I, I get it sometimes when they say you shouldn't be crossing the court and crossing half court. But if you can't get anybody's attention, I don't care what you're saying. Like, it's more important to get the, the call right. That one was more frustrating because it was right in front of our bench. Uh, but that's why I think there just has to be a little bit of grace in, in those moments, uh, even right in front of the official. And I was as demonstrative as I could be. Uh, Quinny was on top of it as well um, with my voice, with his voice, and on the court, and he still didn't see me or hear me. And that's because he's concentrating on trying to get the, the call right um, you know, so we just all have to continue to get better. But if it, if it comes down to me taking matters in my own hands uh, to make sure we get the call, I'm going to do that, uh, regardless of what the league's, you know, not the league, but what regardless of what they say in the next head coaches meeting next September, they'll <laughs> highlight me and put me on there. I'm like, I don't give a damn. Like, give me the damn time out, and with the appropriate time, with one more second, that could have actually um, gotten us a much different look. So, you know, these days, uh, opponent's record really doesn't matter. All these games tend to be close. But when you've got a team like Denver coming in, top team, team in the West. How much do you embrace that challenge, especially at home, having won eight in a row here as a team? Yeah, for sure. Uh, we, we respect their game. Uh, there's instant respect for uh, their offensive attack, um, you know, particularly with Jokic and his passing ability. It's just really unique. You, don't, you, you, you mostly face the similar type of systems. You know, night in, night out. Their system is different uh, because of his passing ability and his size. Uh, but our guys are competitors. We're looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. We're well aware, you know, what's at stake for us, but also how well Denver's played all year. I mean, everybody's been gunning for them, and they've been number one in the East and West, um, you know, is, is for most of, most of uh, you know, the season. Okay, thank you.